Hey guys, it's Ken Ward. What is up, guys? And I'm bringing you a Pokemon Showdown battle. This is an OU battle, and I'm using an awesome OU team that you probably haven't seen on this Brave Ogorona channel from me. I don't know if you've seen it from the others, but this is from me. Um, I faced off against a hater. Man, he hated me so much. Basically, um, I call this team Hellstorm OU because it's pretty much hyper offensive besides the Volt Turn combination of Jirachi and Rona Wash. Um, pretty formidable team. Um, I used the Voltron combination quite well until, um, I think Jirachi dies. I'm not sure. I don't think neither one of them die, actually. But, um, this is a good battle between me and Osk. So, let's get into it. Alright. So, I'm leading off with my Jirachi. He's gonna lead off with an Electivire. And I'm gonna go straight for the U-turn, knowing that this is gonna be, um, a uh, really offensive Electivire. Probably gonna go for an Earthquake. So I send him my lander as he who is immune to it because he's a ground flying. I'm predicting the polytoad switch, so I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go for my stealth rocks. Then I'm gonna switch into my run wash. I mean my Jirachi, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna go for a U-turn after taking the hydro pump. Not that well. Um leading me to think that it is choice back since there was no life orb recoil or um leftovers recoil. I mean leftovers recovery. So this led me to think it was choice back. So I go into my run wash. Knowing I can outspeed, I mean, knowing that I won't outspeed it, but I will be able to get a lot of damage off on this Volt Switch, and I'm probably going to take it out, which I do. So I do get the first kill of this battle. Um, I switch right back into my Jirachi, because I can basically wall any Pokemon he's got. And if he sends in Jolteon, I can take the Balloon out with a U-turn, and basically switch it to my Landorus and go to work, because Jolteon can't use Volt Switch to switch out. So it's basically in my clutches right now, unless it switches out manually. Which he probably doesn't want to do because he doesn't know what my Landorus is capable of. But I don't know what the Jolteon is capable of because it goes for an HP Ice. And it's going to take me, almost take me out. But I go for the Stone Edge and I'm able to take out Jolteon. He goes into his uh, Electivire, leading me to think that this thing is probably Choice Bandit the way he sent it in. Um, Electivire, pretty um, mixed set, if you ask me. Um, probably, like I said, Choice Bandit. Um, I sent him my D Knight. Go for the extreme speed. This D Knight is a uh, choice banded. I'm gonna go for two uh, E speeds, knowing that this Electrovire is probably not gonna be able to touch me. Um, see, he's sitting here hating, talking about my team's full of OP crap. I mean, don't complain, just play the game. It's a part of the game. Um, I just found a team on Smog and used it. So he sends his Thunderous T, take out my Dragonite with the HP Ice. I'm gonna take out Thunderous with an Ice Punch um, with my Jirachi since um, this is basically, an, basically all elemental punches, Jirachi. Pretty good um, set, if you ask me. Um, then I go for a nice punch on this world and watch, and I'm able to get freeze hacks. So that's gonna help me out quite a bit. Um, gonna help me out a lot, actually. Um, I'm able to get a free switch into my Terrakian, and it's basically um, night night for anything he sends in. Once I get the Swords Dance up, because I'm plus two in attack. By the way, I am a Terrakian with Stone Edge. Um, Earthquake and X Scissor, so this is gonna be a problem for him. I go for the Stone Edge. I'm gonna take out this Rotom Wash. One shot, Oko, get out. And now he's gonna send in Zapdos, which is obviously um, times four is uh, weak to it, to a Stone Edge. So I go for the Stone Edge, and I'm able to get the win. So um, I love facing um, people that get mad because they love to concentrate on what I'm doing instead of what they're doing, which basically gives the gives me the advantage because they don't really know what they're doing. Um, recently I was told my narrations are awful, so if you could just leave in the comment section, um, what do you think of my narrations, that'd be awesome, because, um, I love to hear your feedback, and even though that person said my narration was terrible and awful, um, it's good to know that at least he's telling me something so that I could get better. Um, just tell me if my narration was bad, or is bad, um, try look at my older videos to see what else I can improve on, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.